Sorry, I have to do a part two because the other video finished. So I wouldn't let it phase me. I wouldn't let it phase me. Don't get me wrong, I might feel hurt in the moment. I might feel triggered. And if I do, I know that's because I still have something within me that makes me feel like I'm not good enough, I'm not wanted. If that was your dominant belief before and then something happens in your 3D and it's still making you feel like that. Like, oh look, see, I told you I'm not wanted. I told you they don't want me. I told you I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen because people always leave. That's what people end up doing, right? But what we want to do in those moments is remind ourselves that this current reality that we're experiencing here right now is a manifestation of our old thinking. So in those moments, even as unfavorable as they may be, you persist in thinking as if you've got what you want. You have to detach yourself from the 3D. Stop focusing so much on what's going on out here. So many people will be affirming for their specific person, be affirming, we're married, we're together, they love me, and then go and check and check and be like, oh, but they've not, they've not called me in three months. You can't think you're with your specific person married in a committed relationship and then go to, but they've not called me in three months. You're shifting into the state of having, to the state of lack, to the state of having, to the state of lack, to the state of having, to the state of lack. You've got to remain laser focused on your end game. What do you want? You want to be in a relationship with your specific person. So if that's what you want, you need to throw all obstacles, all circumstances out of the window, into the bin, roll it down the hill and forget about the circumstances. I don't want to hear, yeah, but they live far away, but they said they hate me. They've got a new girlfriend. They've got a new boyfriend, but I haven't spoke to them in a year. None of it matters. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if they're the bloody president of the United States. It doesn't matter. The only reason you think it matters is because you're focused so much on what's currently playing out in your physical reality. It feels so real to you, but it feels so real to you because what's currently playing out in your physical reality is a direct reflection of what you genuinely believe to be true, what you genuinely assumed to be true previously. So in order for that to change, we have to persist in the now moment in thinking with our mind that we are in that relationship. And obviously with your self-concept your concept of self, your story of self, how you see yourself. Do you see yourself as someone that is loved, chosen, wanted, cherished? Do you see yourself as someone that's ignored, someone that people are into and then they're just not after a while? People go off you, people don't really want to commit to you. How do you see yourself? Figure that out and then change those beliefs. You change those beliefs by affirming a new story about who you are. Who do you want to be? You want to be wanted, chosen, adored, cherished, treated like a queen, treated like a king. So you need to start telling yourself those things now and identifying as the version of you, as the self that is those things. A specific person must reflect that back to you because everyone is you pushed out. We are all one consciousness. We are all connected. Nothing and no one is separate from you. So, like for part three,